What up, everybody? Tyler with HarvardAcademy.com. I want to talk to you about evaluating expressions with multiplication. Okay? So, again, evaluating expressions means that you're given what some things equal, one thing equals, or multiple things equal, and then you're going to plug them in to an equation and either try to solve it or simplifying it. Um, so you're evaluating those expressions to figure out a better result or a more conclusive result. All right, that was a complicated way of saying just plug the stuff in for what it equals. So we've got three different problems here. First one, we've got 4AB. Now the two things I was given are that A equals negative 3 and that B equals 2. I'm going to separate them two right there. I don't want to get them mixed up. So A equals negative 3, B equals 2. So anywhere in these problems that I see A, I know that I can replace it with negative 3, and it's the exact same thing. The thing you got to be careful of is that you put it in exactly for A. All right, so let's look at it. 4 times A times B. So I know 4 is still going to be its own number, times A, which I can replace with negative 3. The easiest way to not get mixed up when you're messing with all these signs and stuff is to put them in a parentheses and then start simplifying. And then I'm multiplying times B, which is the same as positive 2. Now I can just use my order of operations to multiply. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. And I still got to do negative 12 times 2, which is negative 24. All right, next we've got negative parentheses A times B, close parentheses. This is where it gets kind of crazy and people mess up. Okay, so just stay with me. I'll walk you through it so that you don't mess up. All right, so we've got negative AB. Keep everything the same until you do what I said with the parentheses. So we got negative parentheses. A is negative 3. A lot of people will be like, oh, it's already got the negative in the parentheses. I'll just put a 3 in there. Do not do that. Wherever A is, exactly where A is, replace that with negative 3. Okay? You can put in parentheses again if you want to. Whatever. I don't care as long as you don't mess up. And then B, I'm going to replace with 2. Now I've got too many parentheses, so I'm going to close that. Now, before I get to that negative, I'm going to do what's in there first. So negative 3 times 2 is... Negative 6, so I'm going to keep all my signs still there. A negative times a negative equals a positive, okay? So it's positive 6, okay? Cool. If you want to put that in your calculator, make sure you put it, all the parentheses you need to put. So you need to put negative, parentheses, parentheses, negative 3, uh, sorry, minus, it doesn't matter, minus sign, parentheses. I guess I mean, in your calculator, your calculator will do it, yeah, you want subtraction. Minus blah, 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 and you'll get that, okay? So make sure you get all those parentheses, because if you don't, it's going to mix up those signs, okay? Next, we've got negative B, parentheses A, okay? B is a positive 2. You're like, oh, I don't need that negative. It's a positive. Put it exactly where it is. Bring down the sign, then put that in parentheses. B is 2, and then already in parentheses is negative 3. The negative times 2, that's the same as negative 1 times that 2. It's not minusing 2. It becomes a negative, so it's negative 2 times negative 3, and that's negative 6. You got your answer. Now you've been evaluating expressions with multiplication. It's fun, right? <laughs>